Um, now we're continuing with section 4.6 and example 6, investigating a family of functions f of x equal to cx x to the power 4 minus 2x squared plus 1. If I'm, if I'm trying to find how the shapes look like, and, and the first thing I want to do is to take the derivative of this because it's a polynomial. Derivative is going to be 4 cx to the third minus 4x and I can um, factor x and 4 so 4x cx squared minus 1 and then if double prime of x I'm going to take the derivative this way and so it would be 12 cx squared uh, cx squared minus 4 which is basically 4 3 cx squared minus 1, right? Um, so here, the roots of both f prime and f double prime depends on this c. Uh, if c is a negative value, then uh, uh, neither of them have a root. If c is a positive value, then both of them, uh, I'm sorry, uh, if the c is negative value, then uh, the root of f prime is only zero. If, uh, but if c is a positive value, the roots of f prime, there are three roots. Um, and then for f double prime, if c is negative, there is no roots. If c is positive, there are uh, two roots for f double prime. So solving the roots for um, f prime is going to give me a negative 1 over square root of, if c is positive, it's solving for the roots, gives me a negative 1 over square root of c and positive square root 1 over square root of c and 0. And then if you uh, put those all in a number line, you get negative 1 over square root of 2, 0, 1 over square root of, I'm oh, sorry, c. C, and then you uh, observe that from what we had before, uh, it's going to be uh, basically the um, it, it's, the signs are going to be negative, then it will be positive, then it will be negative and positive, and so you get increasing like that. And then the concavity again, you will have two roots, and and then using the concavity, you will find the concave up. And then you find a local min and max over here, um, and then you graph it like that. So you get a shape like this. Now, what is going to happen when the um, and the c is negative? When c is negative, then you will only have for f prime, you only have one z no, root that is zero, and then. Um, how it turns up, f prime is positive before zero and negative afterward. For f double prime, you will not have any zeros, so the sign doesn't change. It's going to be the same and it's always going to be a negative value. Um, and so in this way, you can, and the graph will look like something like that, and there's no inflection point. Versus over there, you had inflection point because f double prime um, had roots and the roots of order, odd order. So the two functions all depend on the positive or negative value for c, and it gives you uh, two completely different shapes. And some of your WebAssembly questions ask the um, ask similar uh, type of 